Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. Dramatic footage has caught the moment Israel launched devastating airstrikes on Houthi military targets in Yemen sparking a massive blaze. The deadly blows are understood to come in retaliation after the Iran-backed terror gang launched a long-range drone attack, killing one person in Tel Aviv. The airstrike by the Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, targeted fuel depots, energy-related sites, and other facilities at Hodeida port city in Yemen. At least three people were killed and 87 have been injured during the airstrikes, reports Al Masira TV, which is the prime news outlet run by the Houthis. Footage captured a sky-high inferno and plums of smoke painting the landscape as Israeli pilots struck the area. At least a dozen Israeli fighter jets, including the F-35 stealth fighter jets, F-15 fighters, reconnaissance aircraft and refueling planes played a part in the attack, Times of Israel reports. One footage shot by beachgoers in the southernmost city of Eilat shows Israeli aircraft entering towards Yemen on Saturday. The IDF wrote on X, formerly Twitter, IDF fighter jets struck military targets of the Houthi terrorist regime in the area of the Al-Hudaida port in Yemen in response to the hundreds of attacks carried out against the state of Israel in recent months. Foreign Minister Israel Katz said the attacks have delivered a severe blow to the terror organization. The retaliatory act marked the first time the IDF conducted airstrikes on Houthi targets in Yemen, as is being seen as the farthest ever move taken by the military force against the Iranian proxy. IDF says the port strikes were to cause severe financial damage and prevent the Houthis from sourcing weapons from Iran. Israel has long alleged the port was significantly used for military purposes, with Netanyahu claiming yesterday that Hodeida was not an innocent port. He said, it was used for military purposes. It was used as an entry point for deadly weapons supplied to the Houthis by Iran. The port was also being used to aid the Red Sea attacks, targeting the internal shipping lane, Netanyahu added. Israel had vowed to settle the score after a drone struck Tel Aviv on Friday, killing one person. The blast left a building crumbling and shards of glass raining down onto the streets near the U.S. Embassy with 10 people being rushed to hospital, according to Israel's National Emergency Agency. Chilling footage shows the moment the strike hits as a huge fireball erupts over the city's skyline. A 37-year-old man and a 25-year-old woman were reportedly hit by glass shrapnel, leaving them needing medical treatment. A man was found dead in an apartment near to the explosion with police investigating whether it was related to the blast. IDF spokesman Rear Admiral Daniel Haggery said that the UAV was apparently launched from Yemen. The Houthi rebels are terrorizing the Red Sea by launching persistent missile and drone attacks on vessels and warships, but who are they? The Shia militant group, which now controls most of Yemen, spent over a decade being largely ignored by the world. However, since the outbreak of the Israel-Gaza war they sprung from relative obscurity to holding roughly one trillion pounds of world trade hostage, turning one of the world's busiest shipping lanes into an active war zone. Their warped slogan is Death to America, Death to Israel curse the Jews, and victory to Islam. Why are they attacking ships? The rebel group has been launching relentless drone and missile attacks on any ships, including warships, they deem to be connected with Israel in solidarity with their ally, Hamas. However, in reality there have been frequent attacks on commercial vessels with little or no link to Israel, forcing global sea traffic to halt operations in the region and sending shipping prices soaring. The sea assaults have threatened to ignite a full-blown war in the Middle East as intense ripples from Israel's war in Gaza are felt across the region, with Iran suspected of stoking the chaos. Houthi attacks in the Red Sea increased 50% between November and December as the rebel group's chiefs pledged their assaults would continue until Israel stopped its offensive in Gaza. And despite repeated threats from the West and joint US and UK strikes blitzing their strongholds in Yemen, Iran's terror proxy appears undeterred. Israeli Air Defenses Index